salutations guys um i was at the hospital last night so today is going to be a very quick video i'm going to quickly talk about endgame and warlords um so obviously there's achievements and there's uh, extra quests and there's dungeons and all of that so we're just going to quickly talk about all of that so once you hit level 100 um you're kind of flat at, like just out of the box level 100 you're kind of limited as to what you can do until you get better gear high reputations etc so every day there's going to be a daily here at this table in your town hall and if you are um, there's two different ways you can fight, two different places you can go. Some are more PvP based, some are more PvE based usually. Um, it's one of each, so there's that. Um, s various buildings of yours will also have uh, dailies. So for example, um, the inn shows up two quests to get various items. The stables always has a daily. Um, I'm sure some of the other ones do as well. These are the only two that I have right now. Um, so, what I wanted to do was just kind of show you what the dailies are. So for pet battling, you have what's called the Battle Pet Roundup, and you fight whatever three are there today. So, <clears throat> today there's an actual trainer, sometimes it's just a post, and I'm fighting these things. So I've got uh, Tyrael, Diablo, and the Treasure Hunter, or as they are called here, Teary, Deebs, and Puzzle. So I'll look at those later. Um, there aren't really guides on the internet for the pet battles yet, so until I've done one of each one, I kind of don't want to make a video and then have to like redo them later. Essentially, just look at, open the fight for pet battle. Like all I will say is open the fight, see what the pets all are, and how best you think you can counter them, and just pay attention because I thought of one set they were all mechanical, but they took damage as if they were critters. And so my first instinct was like, oh, I'll do beast, but they're mechanical. Beast is, mechanical is strong against beast. This could be a problem. Right, and so for the other three, um, here's the herb garden. So go around and collect your herbs every day. And then in the mines, you can go and you can see all these dots. You can go and collect all the mines stuff. I'm just going to grab my stuff in here. And this is the new main currency. They are called Apex Crystals. For those of you who did any stuff with the Ogula in Burning Crusade, you'll know what that is. For those of you who don't, they're just crystals. But they're kind of coming back in an older time. And they want me to do like a couple of three legs. So I can do that. And then just grab the daily for fishing. And that is pretty much it. Um, in terms of dungeons, I can't keep the heroics right now. So. There's that. Um, you get dungeons as you level, you unlock a couple. Um, so you've got some of these I can't actually do anymore because. Um, uh, let's see. Aquan the leveling one, is much lower, so I can't do it. I can't queue for it anymore. Same with the Blood Slayer ones. I can do the. Burial Depot. I can't do Iron Dogs because again, that one you bought as you were leveling. I can do the Burial Grounds, I can do Sky Reach, I can do the Everbloom, and I can do Upper Black Rock Spire. And that is pretty much it. Once you get item level uh, 610, you can queue up for uh, heroic ones, but they also now make you do Silver Proving Grounds for your class, and it's no longer or for your spe for your specialization, um, like your your role. Sorry, so for tank healer or DPS, and you, it's no longer Mists of Pandaria based. Like it's what they do is they scale the enemies to be wherever your current item level is at. Um, so just go and how you queue for that is you go to your, you go to your uh, mission table. What do they call this? The uh, command table and you talk to the mission specialist and Our she will enter you grants us the strength. Grounds. and uh yeah farewell that's pretty much it for end game right now raids aren't out yet um there is world pvp in ashran which is this area here and there's just there's constant it's like it works like toll broader winter grasp you just kind of queue up and go um but yeah that's pretty much it for end game right now the game is pretty new um raids will be coming out not quite for a while but there's always pre-made groups if you want to farm down some rares and stuff so quickly, I will also add that some 
just for kind of completionist stuff and fun stuff to have, I would recommend the following add-ons. Uh, Treasure Hunter. Uh, not Treasure Hunter. Uh, Diablo Handy Notes, tre Diablo Treasures, and uh, the default one are really good. They show you all where the rares spawn and all the various treasures that you can find because, of course, there's achievements for that. Um, and the... Where's my add-ons? There is a pet one. Pet Tracker. Get all of them and they will sh it will show you where pets that you don't have. Well, it'll show you where all the pets spawn on your map, but you can also search. These are where all the pets are. Now I can farm. So I want to show ones that I have, but that are less than, that aren't rare, that aren't rare. So I don't have any of these rare, so nothing changes. But if I only want to show the ones that I don't have, there you can see I'm only missing one. Of course. Well, I guess I better go on my hunter and find it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I wish it was more exciting, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. Anyway, um, that is it for today, guys. I'm sorry, I'm still in a lot of pain from being at the hospital, so I'm gonna go do stuff that's not this. Let's do this so you're not staring at a black screen of evil. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I don't know what I'm gonna talk about tomorrow. We shall see. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.